Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. Or rather, it's my opponent to go first. And I've got a great rack apart from the queue. So if opponent plays an I, I'll, I'll be able to jettison it. And also an A, because I could play cat. Otherwise, I'd be minded to change the B and the Q and possibly the O. If opponent plays a U, I'm likely to have other options. Great, opponent does play an I. And I don't think there's any alternative to playing G. 21. I have Bretons and Sorbent. Hopefully one of those will play. They certainly both play at the moment in column 12. So do I have any 8s? Nothing through the B. How about the R? Doesn't look hopeful. And the D? No, not seeing anything. Okay. Well, I hold my breath for column 12. Column 11 is likely to look quite attractive for opponent. If he plays down from the D, that's fine. But if above, then I may not be able to bingo. Great. Column 12 remains available. Breaks is good. So I think I have further options. This is what I'm thinking of. Sorbent for 82, and that takes out column 4 for opponent, rakes has a number of front hooks. I'm providing a hot spot for the Z, but if I play Bretons, I'm opening access to the triple word squares in row O. So what about making a play in column 12? Well, that's going to score less. Do I have any other options? What about row J? Wow, Bretons nearly works, just fails at the last. I'm going with this. Well, pretty good. Through a W, I would have wax cloth. And no W's played yet. Not sure I've ever, I've ever played that word. Now, I've got a balance rack with several scoring tiles, so I'm not looking to bingo here unless a W comes down. And I should have a choice of plays with my high scoring tiles. C and H have synergy. So it's not a problem having having them both on my rack. It's an asset. Now, can I get my X underneath this A to play twice? Well, I can't. Only an E goes underneath the R. And I've only got an A and an O to go after the X. Now I need an I to play G and X. Well... Opponent does have the Z. However, I still lead. And no W played. So, what to do here? Zo takes an A. I haven't really identified any great spots for my X. I could play Cox. Keeping Holt, that's not bad. 29 points. So Zo takes A and O and L of the tiles on my rack. Ah, I was thinking of Coxall, but SA not good. Cheese takes nothing. Do I have anything down from BE using any of my tiles? No, I don't. What about through the N? Nothing looking good. Well, this is tricky. I thought I would I thought it would be easier to have options. Now I've thought about Cox, but what about a play which puts an A in front of Azo? So what about Coxel? That's quite nice. Look at this. I'm getting value from the Z, I'm getting the X tripled, and the C takes nothing in front, and Law only takes an F. I am going with this, and I draw an F. Fantastic. Azo takes an L in front. So, 
what do I have with the F? I have fo, F-A-U-T, or fort. I don't think I can play off both U's. Could that be blocked? Well, probably not, unless opponent has got an F. Horf is good. Wow, opponent has blocked it. Is that inadvertent? Probably not with... Or sorry, probably yes, given that the score is 31 points. Gosh, I was fairly confident that would remain available. Now, I was considering what would happen if that were blocked. And I have Horf for 29 points. Decent score. An OK rack leave, given the starting point. Does Law take anything in front? It does. It takes a B. Both Bs have been played. What else does it take in front? Nothing. I don't think. So is Horf the play? I think it is. I'm going with this. Wow, my rack's starting to deteriorate. Very difficult to sort this rack out in one go. And... I only lead by 50 points. Now I played my H when it could have gone after the C, but any play, in, any play in column 3 making CH would have created a lot of options in column 1 because of the number of three-letter plays ending CH. So I don't think anything in column 3 would have been better than Horf. Now surely I have something with this rack. I have Guide. For 14 points, that is going to be better than changing. Now, opponents played Woe for 32, continuing to score well. Frustrating, my lead only 20 points. So, do I have anything better than Guide? The score is dismal, but I am sorting out the duplicates. Is there any way of playing off both U's and an I? I don't think so. This rack lever is truly awful if I draw I's or U's. And only 14 points, but this is better than changing because this rack leave is not worth more than minus 14. Or it is worth between minus 14 and zero. Is this really the best I can do? Well, I'm not seeing anything better. I'm going with this. Wow, great pickup. I draw the, uh, the first blank. And the rest of the rack, no duplicates. I don't draw any more your I's and U's. And generally, this, this rack looks like it's very close to bingo territory. So I have Liturgy on my rack as a 7. That plays in column 12. Wow, getting the Y doubled. Will that remain available? I don't think Bird takes a Y. What else is available? Well, I'm not seeing any more sevens. Where are the floaters? Well, there's G. Gosh, not seeing anything with that. I think a player is likely to end in Y or I-L-Y or L-Y. Rutterly might be good. And if that's good, it would play in row K. Interesting. Yes, it is good. So that plays in row K and doesn't stick a Y in the middle of row O. I still may prefer to play Liturgy because the Y gets doubled and sticking a Y in the middle of row O is only worth about minus, minus three points. But it's good to have options. Now opponents played, blocked my Liturgy spot. So thankfully I have Rutterly for 75. And I draw well. Balanced rack, only one high scoring tile and no duplicates. And I have an 80 point lead on a pretty tight board. 
not many bingo lanes. Perns takes nothing in front. Dine at Coxall likewise. Horf, I think, takes an S. But that's all. And still 36 tiles in the bag. And pretty bingoy tiles at that, apart from these two Vs and a W. Now opponent opens the board up. Do I have a bingo with this rack through any of these floaters? Well, the vowels don't look helpful. What about the P? Not well, I have... I'm not seeing a bingo. I'm just noticing I have type. So, what to do here? That was a good play by opponent. Scores well. Provides floaters. And now, look at this. There's only 40 points between us. If opponent were to bingo now then suddenly I might be behind. So do I shut this board down? Well, I think I, I try and score and sort the rack out. That's my instinct. Just looking at column five. So I can play duty if I had an, a U. So it's got to be an E in second place. So what's the best I can do with Y, E? Well, let me see what Yeti scores. 29 points. Quite a decent score, interrupting P, I and E. Is this the play? Let me put this back. It doesn't feel optimal, but it's certainly not terrible. What about a play from the P across to the double word square? I'd quite like to turn over tiles. 12 minutes on my clock. So I have podgy, but that stops one square short of the double word square. No, not seeing anything. And anything through I and E isn't go is not going to score very well. I don't like keeping D and G on my rack. They don't go well together. They compete with E, D and I and, and I, N, G endings. But I can't see a way of playing D or G in column five. Well, certainly not a play beginning Y, E. What about a play beginning D, E? No, not seeing anything. Now, are there any lanes I haven't considered? Any two-letter sets? No, I don't think so. So I am going to go with Yeti for 29. Not great. Through an I, I would have Wolding. And I haven't blocked that because it would need to have started underneath Horf. Great. Just 36 points for opponent. Annoyingly, I don't have a vowel for going to the left of the T. So, what can I do here? My lead, only 40 points. What about a play down from the Y? Interesting. So, if I play Yowl, I'm killing all of these bingo lanes. I'm getting 20 points. Rack leave not great. Only one S to come. The E just about available as a bingo floater. But Yao does pretty pretty well. Is this the play? Rack leave not terrible. But not great. It goes quite well with pretty much any vowel. I'm going with this. Wow, I draw only consonants. So, not great. Wow, if I had a U, I could play Fur and Quinn. But this isn't a great rack. 38 points for opponent. I'm, my lead is only 20. Now, I'm looking at column 6. I still don't have a vowel for going next to the T. Or an E for going after Jet. Wow, and there are five of those to come. Opponent could score well without bingoing. So, what's the best I can do up here, I think Doff. 32 points, always good to be north of 30. 
I'm not creating new lanes. I'm hugely in need of drawing vowels, but look at this. 14 vowels out of 24 tiles, plus the blank. I am going with this. And I draw only vowels, which is great. Not often I say that. So column 15, a bingo lane for bingos ending in O. I have elegance onto an E. No E's available. But I do have an E for going after jet. Will that remain available? That's the obvious hot spot on the board at the moment. And I'm not going to consider the options there until I know it's available. So where else on the board is there? There's column 13, but it's hard to play there without creating a column 14 bingo lane. I have a 50 point lead to hang on to. So I have Clegg, only 14 tiles in the bag. 23 points, that's not bad. Gig takes an A and an S. But any bingo in column 14 would not be getting doubled unless it had an H in it. Look at these remaining tiles. Super bingo -y. And opponent doesn't bingo. Plays F for 21. Great. So what can I do? Bottom left. I could play vertically or horizontally. Let me consider the plays horizontally. So I've got Leng, 32 points, decent rack leaf, slightly vulnerable to being swamped in vowels, but I do have a scoring tile in the, in the C, which is also a useful bingo blocker. So is Leng the play? I think it is. I don't have anything to go in front of EF. And if I don't play here, opponent might. I am going with this. Wow, pretty savage pickup. However, V and C are both scoring tiles. What's opponent going to do? One possibility would be to play in column eight to score well and create floaters, but only seven tiles in the bag. I'm disregarding column 15, not many bingos end in O, and I can't see a way of defending against that possibility. I can't score myself in column 8, I don't have anything which goes after Do, so I have no candidate plays. Just looking in column 13 to see if I can play off C or V, well I guess I've got VAG as a possibility. Just over 20 points. Look at this, only 60 points in front. With a whole bunch of unseen bingo -y tiles. And my play is definitely going to be influenced by whatever opponent does. Wow, he scored only, t well, only, he scored 23 points, but he hasn't opened a bingo lane which is good news. I only lead by 40. If I play VAG, I lead by 60 and I'm creating a bingo lane, a really nice bingo lane in column 14 for, for hooking an A onto gig and there are three of them to come. Eight minutes on my clock. Quinn takes a number of hooks, but I, they all create bingo lanes. The M is the only scoring tile left. What am I going to do here? Very, very tricky situation. Really don't want to play VAG. 
but there it is, 23 points. Opponent could play down column 14, but surely I then score well in column 15. Or do I? Maybe difficult to play the C. That could be just what opponent wants. What else goes after GI? E does, so I could play VAE. Wow, tricky, tricky, tricky. Is there any way of blocking opponent playing down column 8? Nothing goes in front of F that I've got. So, no. And I do want to score. Five tiles in the bag. So it would be good to play off four tiles. I'm thinking about playing CAG. Only 12 points, but the VAG play is creating a bingo lane. It cannot be the right thing to do to create a bingo lane. I can't use this triple letter square. I can't make parallel plays. C and V don't make two letter words. I do have a 40 point lead. What about playing Vago for 12, killing column 15? And it's not so much that I'm worried about column O, column 15, it's more that I don't want to open a bingo lane. And this provides nothing. If I draw an E, I could have eight. Six minutes on my clock. Only 12 points. I'm not convinced that's remotely the right thing to do. What else is available? I have a gave on my rack. There's nowhere to play it. What about playing through this? This I. So I could play Vi E for nine points, keeping some scoring tiles. C H E is good. Four minutes on my clock. I can't waste too much. I'm Gazon is good. Ah. So what about playing Ag? 27 points. I like it. Yep, I am going with this. And I draw more vowels, but I've retained the V and the C, so I should be able to get some, some value from them. I could play VOE and VAG. What's opponent got? Remaining tiles looking super bingo-y. Does he have a bingo ending in O? That would be painful. If he does, it would get tripled, so it would be a big score. Three tiles in the bag. CAG and VAG are both good. But the best I can see is VO. Can't see anything with the C. I've got a ton of A's. So my Geiger worry, slightly, well, not unnecessary, but just not borne out in practice. However, still one A, one blank to come. Hour takes an N, so were I to have had one of the Ns, I could have played N A, and Aon takes nothing after it, so that wouldn't have been creating a bingo lane. And opponent can't play in column 8 to create floaters for bingos because if he plays off five tiles, then he only replenishes his rack with three tiles and he won't have enough tiles to, to get the 50-point bonus. Ten minutes on opponent's clock, four on mine. I felt I spent an age over the ag play, but with hindsight... 
I, I feel that was a significantly better play than any of the other options I considered. And I think getting 27 points rather than 12 gives me a little bit of extra breathing space. I bet I may be tempted to try and create a selfish bingo lane. By which I mean a hook which he's got and I haven't. The obvious way to do that would be to set up a play which only takes an S if he's got the blank. But it's very hard to do that in a way that opponent can't obstruct the lane. And I think that's all I need to do to win this game is to obstruct bingo lanes. And this board is actually quite a beautiful sight in terms of blocking bingo lanes, apart from column 15 with this O. And there's not very much I can do about that this turn either. Can't see anything coming down onto the O, apart from Evo keeping four A's. Abenin could play three tiles in column eight, creating a bingo lane if it has a front hook. That's a possibility. So a play of E-A-N, that would be quite nice. I don't have anything to go in front of that. But I would still hope to be able to block it in some fashion. So, eight minutes on opponent's clock. Now, fairly near the, the beginning of the month. I guess the middle of the month, but the beginning of every month, a brand new five minute blitz game goes up on the Patreon site for all supporters of the channel. There's a, a new one every month and there's years worth of back catalogue videos to enjoy. So many thanks to everyone who supports the channel via Patreon. It keeps this channel alive. And if you do want to consider supporting the channel, it's available from as little as one dollar a month. The link is always below the video and in return you get access to this back catalogue of videos plus the opportunity to be my opponent in one of the games on the main channel but you're not obliged to be an opponent if that's not your cup of tea. But super thanks to everyone who does support the channel by that means. Now I don't normally get to the end of that without opponent playing but I have in this instance and I think opponent's rightly taking his time because he's in a very tricky spot. He could win this game with the right play and he really needs to create a bingo lane and bingo. I'm going to struggle to score anywhere on the board as it stands. The two moves I've considered, Vo and Evo, score wretchedly little. Just 13 for Vo. I have car in row D for 10. Now I still have an E for G, so I have VAE in column 13. What if a pedant just stuck an A on the end of Quina? Interesting. That would be tricky for me. Except it wouldn't, because then I would just play VAE. Although that does have the slight danger that it takes a U in front. So we wait and see. Six minutes on opponent's clock. He's nearly used up as much time as I have. P and W just about available as floaters for a nine letter play. But that would be something quite special. So what else do I have? Opponent spent a very long time thinking about his play, but during that time I have not been able to come up with any good candidate plays myself. The eye of Yeti, not particularly useful. A D could go there, but only an S can go after Jute, which would mean opponent burning his blank. And my lead of 68 points means opponent does have to bingo to win. So what is in the bag? 
four vowels out of ten tiles, so a pretty bingoy unseen pool. I wonder if there's any way opponent could fork the board. Well, yes, a play in column 13 could open up bingo lanes in column 14 and row B or row A. So what if opponent played A, N, E? Wow. I could play across the top, but then opponent could, could bingo. But I guess this, this is the sort of move opponent's <coughs> contemplating. Now he's played. He's played, he's burnt his blank, scored only 34 points, has got inane on his rack, cannot bingo. Can he outrun me? I don't think he can. So, I can now, since he can't bingo, it doesn't matter that I create bingo lane. So I have Carver for 22. That would give me a 50 point lead. That has to be good enough. Can I then go out with A, A, E? I have area. But what else? Gosh, I thought I had LA, but AO not good. I could play cave, but that would leave three A's. Well, I think I am going to go with this. So, double AE, I have area. Opponent may well be drawn to the C of Carver. I've blocked Dinny as an out for opponent. What are the anagrams of inane? Possibly none. Can't see anything beginning with N. Okay, well, having, well, does Dinny have an anagram? Possibly. Certainly at the end of a game, when you know it's won, it's not all, not as easy to think sharply as during a game, even though the pressure is off to some extent. I think it's just because of the intensity of concentrating for half an hour or more. Now, look at this, three minutes on both our clocks. What am I going to do if area is blocked? Well, it's not. 13 for opponent. Do I have an out elsewhere? Let me just squiz down the board, see what I can see. I've still got three minutes. Birds was available for an EYE extension. So... Double A E. No, not seeing anything other than area. And the final score 386 for my opponent, 438 for me, a winning margin of 52 points. So a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what a game! I thought opponent might might try setting up a tricky bingo lane at the end, and he didn't. So, opponent to go first, played bird. I played chi. Opponent's rack, plays rakes. And now I get off to a great start with sorbent, but brondest available. D11. Oh, wow, through the D as a double-double. Nice. Okay, so... 12 points dropped there. Opponent's rack. Plays Zo. And now I have Coxall for 45, which looks fine. Gosh, I thought opponent may have a bingo with this rack, but he doesn't. Plays Diner. And I play Horf for 29. J6. I could have played HAE under breaks for 38 which is nine more points. But my rack leave is definitely nine points better than FTW. 
So FTW is a real horror show, probably down towards minus 20. But ETU will be between 0 and minus 5. So I would say there's probably a 15 point difference in rack leaves and only a 9 point difference in score. So Horf is a better play. Opponent's rack plays Woe. Now this is a tricky rack. Wow. I didn't consider getting value from the queue. And tag E1. Gosh, that's a big score, but an awful rack leave. And Dugite, I think that would have been a better play than Guide. Well, actually it wouldn't. It's only two more points and the T definitely helps IU. So I think Guide's okay. Opponent's rack, Imprison without the O, plays Perns. Oh wow, having having had to check whether Rustily was good, the more common Rustily was also available. And Liturgy remained available. Oh wow, because of All and Koi. Gosh, that was a, a bad oversight. So I dropped six points there. Yeah. Okay, now Opponent's Rack plays Umpy which he wouldn't have had after Liturgy. And this was a tricky, tricky rack. And in the end, I went with Yeti. I wasn't that keen on it. Top plays here, parallel to Coxall. But probably not, probably not much between those top plays. Now, opponent's rack, pretty un -bingo plays Jet. Birdsong, wow, that's nice, 36 points. What do I do? I play Yowl for 20. Yeah, and although I'm dropping 16 points, Birdsong creates bingo lanes in addition to those available with Umpy. And Yowl takes, pretty much takes out every bingo lane on the board, so certainly has some merit. Opponent's Rack plays Visto, could have played Bird Shot. So many birds extensions available. My Rack, pretty unbalanced. Bird song available. And I played Doff for 32. And I like that, keeping the board tight with a slender lead to preserve. And opponent would have had daughter through bird song. So opponent plays F. A13 NK. A nice play, but. Nice word and score, but opening up row A, so I don't like that. I play Leng for 32. Yep, and that scores the most, and the rack leave is okay. Opponent's rack, homing in on bingo territory. Plays Hour. And now I play Ag for 27. This is the move I spent an eternity on, but I was really pleased with the final the final play to score 27 points and not create any bingo lanes was 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 good gave me a comfortable lead and look at this for opponent an absolute dream rack but no bingo and this is where he spent a long time and i was thinking he may play off a couple of tiles to create a lane n13 lamb well that doesn't do that and these options won't really have that in mind but i suspect there were options for opponents but in any event opponent abandons that idea and plays derms my rack i play carver for 32 opponent doesn't have an out so carver blocked his out plays ain and finally area is the only blank the only the only out so what a game, super exciting stuff. We were very close. I established a small lead, about half a bingo to a whole bingo, about halfway through the game and preserved that for the whole of the rest of the game. And it was quite, quite traumatic is too strong a word, but quite always quite tense when you're, when you've got a blocked board and you're kind trying to keep it blocked, but you're also trying to score when your lead is only 40 or 50 points, your opponent is only a couple of good non bingo scores from catching up with you so it's always quite tense when that happens and you're constantly looking to score well enough and not create opportunities for opponents 
And I think the move I was probably most pleased with in that game was Ag, which which did achieve that. So many thanks to my opponent for a good battle. I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.